So Nina Simone is back in the news. And look, Chloe Bailey, she did this really amazing performance on a ABC special for Juneteenth. Happy belated Juneteenth. Hope you guys enjoyed it. They were doing all kinds of fireworks last night until two o'clock in the morning here in New York City. Um, well, ABC had a special Juneteenth celebration and Chloe Bailey did a very sensual interpretation of a Nina Simone song. And it feels so good. What I know that is that is that the title? I can't remember if that if that's the title. I just know that's one. Of, yeah, feeling good. There we go. I'm, I'm look. I'm changing up lyrics. Um, feeling good. The Nina Simone song. So a lot of people are being critical because a lot of people like to be critical of Chloe Bailey because you know Chloe Bailey started in this business very young on YouTube. So people are not used to her being an adult <laughs> and showing off her sensuality. So a lot of people were criticizing Chloe for her performance, even though it was just this very different interpretation of the song and it was very sensual. Well, Nina Simone's granddaughter came out in her defense saying that her mother, her grandmother would approve. She said that her grandmother, if you know anything about her, would approve of this sort of interpretation of her song. She was all about freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. So, of course... She, the granddaughter of Nina Simone came out in support of Chloe Bailey. But then she decided to use that moment, oh my goodness, to come at our vice president, Kamala Harris. If you don't remember, Kamala Harris was the attorney, the, uh, attorney general of California. Let, in fact, let me just get my details in front of me so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. So this is what the granddaughter said about Kamala Harris. So these are some of the tweets that Rihanna Simone Kelly posted and she really went in. Let me come to the side. Let me come to the side. So she said, as I said before, ask her why her, she's referring to vice president Kamala Harris. She separated my family. Ask her why my grandmother's estate is in shambles. Now ask her why we as her family no longer own the rights to anything. Ask her why she bullied my mother in court and my mom almost killed herself from the depression. Ask her why my mother had a gag order put on her and cannot speak on these things. Ask her why she didn't even want my mom to be able to say she was Nina Simone's daughter. Ask her why she wanted us to walk away with nothing. My grandmother created something beautiful with her life while she was here on earth, even th through all of her pain. I am so proud of her legacy. I am so proud to be her grandchild, but I feel separated from my legacy as it's even... As, as if it's even mine. Let me explain. My grandmother is influencing the masses as she should. I see her on billboards. I see artists covering her music. It breaks my heart to know that white people are making money off of grandma's hard work that we have, that we have had all of our rights as her family stripped from us. Okay. So a lot of people were like, what? Kamala Harris did what? <sighs> So then you have to do a little digging. Why Why would this happen? Why would they be, look, it, it's not unheard of, of some of our favorite legendary singers no longer having the rights, their families no longer having the rights to their music. But the story goes deeper than what the granddaughter is saying reportedly. I'm not saying that the, the family shouldn't have any rights to the grandmother's estate, but... The reason why Kamala Harris was even involved as the state, um, the California State Attorney General, was because allegedly Rihanna's mother, Nina Simone's granddaughter, misappropriated funds from the mother's estate, from Nina Simone's estate. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. So I'm just going to read you some, some details so I don't mess up mess up the story. Okay. A, 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 hold on. Marsha, Marsha says, I heard her mom was not doing what she was supposed to do with the estate. Yes, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. So according, the reason why Kamala Harris was even involved was because allegedly, I'm going to say allegedly, I'm not sure if I should have said allegedly, they did reach a settlement in regards to this. And part of that settlement, settlement me, uh, was that Nina Simone's daughter, who originally wasn't the you know executor of the estate, it was actually someone else. Nina Simone had put someone else as the executor of the estate. The executor of the state then put Nina Simone's daughter 
over the estate. So Rihanna's mother, Lisa, that's Nina Simone's daughter, was made the administrator of Nina's estate upon death. But sometime later, she was accused of misappropriating funds that were tied to both the estate and a charity set up in Nina's name. That's how Kamala Harris's office got involved. And in the end, they reached a settlement, the terms of which Rihanna is shedding light on now, not to mention Lisa herself, who praised her daughter for speaking the truth. But as a part of the settlement, Lisa was prohibited from associating, associating herself with Nina in what seems to be any capacity, be it familial or otherwise. In addition to uh, a gag order forbidding her from talking about Nina, that's why Rihanna is speaking up on the issue on behalf of her mother. But we should, there's part of this that we should really also know. So when they say misappropriating funds, they're saying that allegedly Nina's daughter took over, I think the estate had $1.5 million in it and she put, she moved that money to her personal account. And that money was supposed to go to a few different countries in Africa, uh, a few different schools in Africa. And the mother allegedly did not do that. And that's why the, the California law enforcement had to get involved. The, the parts of this that, that to me are interesting is that, that she's not able to talk about her own mother. That part is, I'm sort of like, but why? But why? It's kind of, it's, it's, it's a crazy, crazy situation. But at the same time, if you really go through some of the tweets that the daughter was talking, the granddaughter was talking about, where she said, part of, look, can we play, can I play devil's advocate? Can I play devil's advocate? <laughs> At the on one side of things, if this was my grandmother and this was her legacy, I would want some sort of involvement, meaning the way that her image is used, the way that her music is used, those types of things. But based on how the daughter was talking about it, it made it seem as if it was more of a money thing versus a legacy thing. Because she was talking about how she contemplated stripping, you know, in order to make ends meet. And the part of me is like, you, so what if your grandmother wasn't Nina Simone? Wouldn't you have to figure out how to make ends meet? Right? So, look, I could, that's the thing about me. And I know a lot of y'all say, Kempai, you're always riding the fence on these topics. You never really give one side. Honestly, that's just the way that I think. I'd be twerking on that fence. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just twerking on the fence because I'm like, I can see the side of the family. But then if the mother allegedly decided, you know what? I'm going to take my, this. Remember, this is a charity. That's part of the reason why this uh, legal action was taken. You're taking money from a charity and moving it to your personal account. Why, girl? Because you want that money for yourself. But then on the other side of things, why can't Nina Simone's daughter talk about her own mother? That's the part that I'm uh, like, why couldn't she, why Why was there a gag order put on her? Why can't she talk about her mother? Is it because she can make money from talking about her mother? See, that's one thing. She should be able to talk about her mother, but making money off of the estate. See, that there's that other side of things. There's that other side of things. And I wanted to talk about this this Nina Simone story a little bit more at length. We will be following this story. I like as I said to you before, I can see the family side, but I can also see law enforcement side. So now the estate is run by a separate company. Sad. It's it's a sad situation because if Nina Simone was my grandmother and I couldn't talk about her, well technically I could, but my mother couldn't. That's it's it's weird to me. But it's as I said to you before, it sounds a little bit like more it has more to do with money versus than the image and story about Nina Simone's life. And a good show to watch on Netflix is what uh, is it called? Whatever happened to Nina Simone? I can't remember the exact title, y'all. Lauren Hill was involved with it. I also know that the daughter was involved with it as well.